Thank you. Sure, Mr. Guest. Thank you. <laughs> Sir, please stand in the witness box. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly state that the testimony you may give in the cause now pending before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Please be seated. Please state your name for the record. Spell your first and last names. Andrew Guest, A-N-D-R-E-W, Guest, G-U-E-S-T. Microphone working. Uh, the mic is working, and it's, it's uh, going to be my first admonition to Mr. Guest is to speak up a little bit. Okay. All right. Mr. Guest, good morning. Good morning. I do deliver certain instructions to uh, witnesses in every case. Some people think it's unnecessary, but every witness is different, so I want to make sure you understand it. The first instruction is really do speak as loudly as you can into the mic. Why don't you click it? Just let's make sure it's working. Okay. Sometimes, uh, because of the witness's position, we don't hear what we should, so do uh, speak up uh, using the mic, although you don't have to speak right on top of it. If you speak too closely, we'll get some really distracting feedback. Okay. So that's the first instruction. The second instruction is to sit back and relax. The third instruction uh, is to please wait until you hear an entire question before you answer it, even though you may think what's being requested uh, and you know the answer. Okay. So sit back, relax, answer loudly. Uh, when you're called upon to provide a yes or no answer to a question, answer yes or no rather than slang uh-huh or uh-uh, which can be really confusing. Is all of that acceptable? Yes. Thank you. Direct exam by the defense. Mr. Chernoff. Mr. Guest, where, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Where do you live? I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. How old are you? I am 48 years old. And how long have you lived in Las Vegas, Nevada? I've lived there approximately 10 years. All right. And do you, can you tell us where you work? What you do? I work at uh, Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino as a locksmith. Now, do you know this gentleman that's sitting to my left, Dr. Conrad Murray? Yes, sir, I do. Indicating Dr. Murray. When did you first meet Mr. Mur uh, Dr. Murray? I met Dr. Murray in uh, <coughs> April of 2002. You would have been 39? Correct. How did you meet Dr. Murray? I met Dr. Murray through my primary uh, physician, Dr. Dixon. Uh, he referred me to Conrad Murray. And what was the principal complaint that you had with your physician? Chest pain, uh, arm pain, headaches. Did your, did your principal physician take uh, any kind of tests, do any kind of tests on you? Yes, he did. He ran a uh, EKG and I believe uh, a couple other tests. I'm not uh, certain of it, but uh, he did run some other tests on me. All right, and then he uh, simply gave you the name of Dr. Murray and told you to go call him, or how did that happen? Uh, no, Dr. Dixon actually uh, called Dr. Murray on the cell phone. Uh, Dr. Murray was out of the country, I believe, at the time. and. Uh, got in touch with him on the phone and made an appointment for me to see him as soon as I got back or as soon as he got back into the country. Uh, and when did you see Dr. Murray? I saw him um, I believe it was in early April of 2002. Of 2002. All right. So I mean how soon after Dr. Dixon made this phone call did you see Dr. Murray? I would say it would be just a few days. All right. Um, when you went in to see Dr. Murray, was, were you further examined? Yes. Dr. Murray ran some tests. Um, I believe he also did an EKG. And um, Did you do a treadmill test? No. I did not do a treadmill test. Um, Dr. Murray stated that my past condition, uh, family genetics, uh, he stated to me that I could die during the uh, stress test. So he would like.